Welcome back everyone. So if you are on an AMD processor and enjoy the gaming on your Windows operating system, then you must optimize the AMD setting. And today I will be sharing best AMD setting, AMD Radeon setting that will be helping you to boost the FPS of your game and even fix the lagging problem. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. in order to bring up the AMD Radeon software either you can make a right click on the desktop and click on AMD software or you can also click on your windows search type AMD and you can click on it to bring it up so once the AMD Radeon comes up the very first thing that I would recommend you that go ahead and update your AMD Radeon software so that you should have the updated features and settings and in order to update you have to click on the setting gear icon at the right hand corner and here you'll find the status of your AMD Radeon that what kind of version you're using and if there is any update available it will let you know in the status section I'm already updated so it says up to date you can also click on check for update and it will let you know that if there is any update or not okay so once you are done with this next you have to click on the gaming section from the top menu option then you will have to click on graphics and make sure the profile has been selected to the custom then you need to scroll down a bit now here in the graphic setting the first option radeon anti-lag this option will be enabled radeon boost radeon chill radeon image sharpening radeon enhancing these all four options will be disabled wait for a vertical refresh this will be set to always off then you will have to click on advanced Frame rate target control will be disabled. Anti aliasing will be set to use application settings. Anti aliasing method will be set to multi sampling. Morphological anti aliasing will be set to disable. Anisotropic filtering will be enabled. And filtering level will be set to 2x. Next, texture filtered quality will be set to performance. Surface format optimization will be disabled. Tessellation mode will be set to AMD optimized. OpenGL triple buffering will be disabled. And then finally you have to click on reset shader cache. Click on OK. And now you have to come to the display section. And in the display, AMD FreeSync, if it's been available, then you will have to disable it. It's not supported on my graphic card, so it should be not supported. But if it's support on your graphic card, then you have to disable it. Virtual super resolution, this will be disabled. GPU scaling will be enabled. A scaling mode will be set to preserved aspect ratio. Integer scaling will be set to disable. You don't have to do anything with the HDMI scaling color depth. This will be the default as you can see on my screen. And now let's come to the right hand side and here you will find the custom color. If you want to disable this option, then you can disable it. But if you want to make any kind of changes with the color, then you can enable it. So enable custom color, color temperature control, enable it. Color temperature will be set to 6500. Brightness hue depend on you. I keep it to zero. Contrast saturation. Again, it depends that what kind of monitor you have. If you find the contrast low, then you can increase it. Saturation, if you find low, you can increase it. My default value is around 105 and saturation 110. If you want to keep this value, you can keep it. But if you find the low contrast or low saturation, then of course you can increase it. Color deficiency correction, you will have to disable it. And that's it. After doing all these settings, now you will have to close it, restart the computer. And the next time, if you enjoy any game like Valorant or any other, you will find that there is low lag now and even you will be getting the better FPS. Now part of that, I would also recommend you that you should go ahead and optimize your entire window so that you should have the low process count, low CPU usage, and you should get the better performance for the gaming. I've already created a video on this topic. You can check that video in case if you want to optimize your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.